मैं ये सब आपको मेल कर दूँ चलेगा Ladies and gentlemen, a very, very good evening to all of you. I am super excited with the book that's going to be launched here today because I think it is like a literally a gift to parents. Very good evening to everyone present here, and very, very warm thank you to everyone present here. My friends, my family, my Nourish team, my clients, the members from the press. Thank you so much for your immense love and support that you have always shown to me. That's the reason I stand here today. Thank you. Up next, the father of twins. I'm thoroughly enjoying this new phase of my life and I think uh, parenthood is extremely fulfilling and I think all of us on this platform can agree with that and I'm extremely excited to be sharing this space with all of you here and uh, I look forward to it. Parenthood. Uh, it's everything that everyone said. <laughs> it's daunting, it's exhilarating, it's uh, it's shocking in my case. Karan is more practiced at this speech, so you have to uh, <laughs> excuse me. Yeah, no, it's just everything that I thought it would be and yet everything that not. Like I still look at them and, and can't believe their mind. Uh, and I'm just, I'm just blessed every morning, literally by their presence. You know, I tell you this and I feel this every single day. I look back at my life and I look at my son and I keep saying to myself, this is the best thing I've ever done. Yeah. I really feel that and that's I think what parenthood uh, does to parents, you know, becoming I, a parent. I, I always say that they're the finest dharma productions, yes. <laughs> literally, yes, indeed. and otherwise. What do you expect, or how do you want to carry that forward for your children? Or what, do you, what kind of relationship do you want them to have with you? Um, well, when I was young, food was my sibling. Uh, because with the lack of one or the lack of any other options available to me, I decided to befriend food. Uh, and all I did was consume that friendship in excess. Uh, and as a result, I grew into a very large human being. And, uh, and all I did was think and eat and breathe food. Uh, and it became like so difficult that there was actually, there was no therapy at that time. Uh, but I know that I was definitely a candidate for therapy to get over my food, incessant food eating habits. So when did you become objective and when did you cut those, those ties with that sibling? Uh, when did you have a healthier relationship? Well, when did you start having a healthier relationship? My relationship has been through so many ups and downs with food. Like there's a daily, th there's always stress in that zone. It's never really left me. Which is why I think books like this and people like Pooja and, and forces like nutrition are so critical that at a young stage you don't get, and you know, their kids, they should have fun as well. They should enjoy what's great about food. Uh, but I think there are so many indulgences that we tend to kind of get into that I think that can be completely avoided. You know, you know what you don't expose them to, they're not going to like love. In my case, we were, I was half Punjabi and half Sindhi, so food was a very big part of our daily life. And if it wasn't on the table, it was on a discussion zone. So we either talked about it or we ate it. You know, that's what we did. And I think food should not be given that kind of importance that we tend to in our country. You know, everything is like, we're, at lunch we discuss what we're going to have for tea, at tea we're going to discuss what we're having for dinner, and then you sleep with thoughts of breakfast. So uh, it's really kind of like goes into a loop of sorts. And I don't want my children to kind of go through those issues that I did. How are you going to think for me, uh, the biggest challenge was... Um, 
feeding Misha right from when I gave birth to her uh, because like Pooja said in her book for the f- first few months of a baby's life you are the menu you have to be so careful when you're feeding your child yummy is she anyway you have to be so careful when you're feeding your child everything that goes into your mouth goes into your baby's stomach and um, it's extremely uh, it's it's something that uh, you have so much responsibility uh, on your plate literally um there were so many things that i wanted to have but i couldn't because i didn't want misha to be uh, crying with stomach pain uh, and at the same time i wanted to i wanted to have enough nutrition so that i can give that on to her without depleting myself because everything that you feed your child eventually goes from you so i had to nourish myself so i could nourish her and that was uh, the biggest challenge for me and i actually uh, came to pooja uh, once i was almost weaning misha off and most of our discussions halfway through went to okay what should i feed her what can i give her because i mean we started our diet and you know that you figured yourself out you that was simple because then i didn't have to think so much and i didn't have this big responsibility and we would you say you know you know you can start it like this baby led weaning this that you know the advice is uh, unending but the the best part was that her advice was so simple and easy to put to use that it wasn't that stressful the right time to teach them um the good and the bad and where you need to sway is when they obviously can learn and understand a little bit but children even when they are little are watching everything even when they are not being able to express they watch um like i've mentioned in the book my younger one was just two uh, could was mumbling a few words and could could get through whatever she wanted to tell us and when she noticed that when mama ate her food a little plate of salad always came along and when she ate that would didn't come so she went marching to the kitchen to find out why she doesn't get it so i didn't I, so as parents we are role models so if we can try and set the right example they are learning even when they are little but of course when they were a little older 5 and 6 i taught them about the five fingers of nutrition what the milk does to them what the roti the five does. fingers of nutrition can you tell me <laughs> so we have no. i'm really worried no, they're very something very scary i know these five <laughs> fingers of nutrition they are the five pillars i thought a hug is what all i had to offer <laughs> now i have to show them five fingers <laughs> you you just have to you just have to make a fist to make a healthy meal so your so your five fingers are your carbs proteins fats vitamins and minerals okay. just that simple i didn't know there were the five fingers okay <laughs> no i I've, i've called them the five fingers okay. because it's very easy to teach them then that if there are five fingers each meal needs to make a little fist so if you manage to put a little bit of all these nutrition nutritious factors into your plate you've done a good job so i taught them that when they were very little and now they can look at a plate and they can say ah ma two fingers missing one finger missing so and they teach that so that's when i realized that um that's when i realized that there's so much potential to teach them because then they went about teaching their friends they went and corrected nani's plate and they said nani what are you eating yeah, this has only one finger get you off very quickly <laughs> yes from the diet yes so um so th- that's the magic to teach them and they learned it so beautifully that's how eat dilly junior came into being because i realized that it was so simple to teach them and they absorbed it and bite it and publicized it again but however coming to body image that's another very important area because when you talk too much about good food and being in shape you don't want to take them the reverse way and they get they fearing food or they fearing now a lot of girls at a very young age are fearing food fearing getting fat correct so what we're trying to teach them when they're from while they're little is that food is not giving making them fat food is what's giving them the energy to play that game food eggs are what is making them grow tall and the hair so we're trying to teach them that food is their fuel i know this come on it's a fruit <laughs> mm. oh <laughs> um it's a fruit why don't i know this <laughs> i'm going blank i know it's a fruit uh you want to tell me uh, it's apple ha ah, okay banana ha ah, ah. mm. yeah no what is this 
This I don't know because I don't like. He doesn't like it. He doesn't know. So what is this? It was mashed sweet potato. Uh, it's very no good for you. Uh, this is yogurt, is it? No. What is it? Okay. Oh, this is little santra I had. No, sorry. No. You got this wrong as well. What is it? That was avocado. This is avocado. Yes. <laughs> okay, now. This is the uh, last one. Number four. It's like porridge or something. What is it? Oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. Uh, is it right? So you got two wrong, two right. Uh, What's the bribe, Karan, for me to get the two wrong? Open your mouth. That's all right. It's yum. <laughs> I just can't figure out sorry, what it is. That's I mean, not I the know. correct answer. I don't know what it is. Can you put it's that It's delicious in my mouth? puja. Give me one point. I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, you don't know what it is. It's, uh, is it like, it's a fruit. Uh, oh, I think is it? Uh, can I say? No, 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 no let it's my it. turn. She gets it wrong. You get you 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 get a go. What she already it? got it wrong. It's kiwi. It's kiwi. kiwi. Mango mash. Okay, listen. Mm. Kiwi and mango. Who's gonna guess? Mango, you can guess. Okay. Yeah, but it's with kiwi. Oh, it's kiwi and mango. Yeah. Nah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> you got it really difficult. You, you've made it quite hard. For mm, very good. Suffer now. It wrong. I know. Try and get, get Veg one. veggies and what veg? What vegetable? Uh, carrot. Okay. Come on. And uh, you have to give it to her. Yeah, carrot. Right? It, it, it carrot and beetroot. beetroot carrot is a, and is beetroot. It's a difficult taste to act. Easy mm. peasy. Apple. Apple. Apple cinnamon. Apple cinnamon. Bang on. Okay, now. Yeah. See, there's one See, terrible thing always there is. The, it's a porridge. Ragi? Oh my god! That's a good one! Well done! See, I don't know what does ragi taste like? Huh? Somebody timing this? Okay. You have exactly. It wasn't easy. Uh, I, was a, I was gathering really long. Very good. Okay. Crown is okay. Sorry. Karan, that's pretty good. Yes, thank you. We have long lovely. eyelashes. So I, I don't know. Should we call it? Yes. The winner. I think the winner is. Okay, the winner Mira. is Mira. Mira. You can come and take a look at their I handiwork love Kapoos, in a little can bit. I eat one piece of this? So when it comes to the best of three, uh, Karan, I'm afraid I've you've lost, lost already. both rounds. No. Well, you know, uh, we're going to move on. We're going to move on Hi, to the the, the unveiling right now. Both of you did a wonderful job. Both of you have been very sporting. Thank you very much. Okay. Big round of applause for Karan and Meera. Yes, and since Meera has won both rounds, we're not doing round three. Can we have Meera's grand prize very quickly? Yes? has been launched today. This is really going to be a Bible for...